Welcome to our Vishay Components Test Lab. Not all resistors are made equally. For example, their pulse handling capabilities and long-term stability, also known as drift, can be very different. Today, we test Vishay resistors. They are exposed to pulse loads in many applications. So, let's check their performance. Let's set the pulse power. Wow, the same pulse, but such a difference. Seems our melt resistor is the clear winner. Well, this is a special situation, so let's see what happens if we just let you work at a constant power for a long time. I wonder whether your resistance value will remain stable. Okay, let's apply rated power and wait. Hey, you look so old. Also, the pulse test didn't go well. Sorry, I'm just not made for this. When thick film resistors are manufactured, a resistive paste is screen printed on their ceramic body. Then the resistance value is adjusted with a simple trimming cut. This is fast and cheap, but all the current has to pass here. So I'm heating up here. Therefore, I only have limited pulse load capability and my long-term stability is poor. I see. Your thin film colleagues did much better. So, how do you do this? They put much more effort into my manufacturing, so I cost more, but I can do much better. My resistive layer is sputtered from pure metal. It is extremely stable. Also, I get nice and uniform laser trimming. It forces the current all over me, so I heat up evenly. Therefore, my pulse handling capability is up to two times higher, and my long-term stability is also much better. Cool, but he must have another secret. Hey, Melf, you did the best job. You also didn't age much, and the pulse load didn't harm you at all. Your test is no challenge for me. I'm also a thin film resistor, but I am cylindrical. Even if we have the same size, my surface is three times larger. Therefore, I can distribute more heat, so my pulse load capability is five times higher, and my long-term stability is excellent as well. Fantastic, you are our best film resistor.